feel like I haven't filmed a tutorial in literally forever, so, because I haven't been at my mom's in literally forever, because the last time I was at my mom's, we were, like, on vacation, so I couldn't play with my makeup. But I filmed a tutorial today, so... Also, quick pan alert! Um, halfway through this video, I get really excited for no reason, and, like, you're probably looking at me like, Kelsey, what's wrong with you? And the reason I'm so excited is because I hit pan on something. This is the, uh, Elsa Icicle Face Palette. Um, I got this purely for, like, nostalgic, uh, collector's reasons, because I absolutely love Disney and I love Frozen. Um, but the bronzer in here is really golden and really pretty, and even though it's kind of patchy, I really love it for just, like, coloring, not really contouring, but, like, coloring your face, and I guess I've used it so much that I've hit pan on it, so, little pat on the back for me there. Um, today is a tutorial on this look right here, using the products in my June Ipsy bag. Um, I feel like these videos, this... Do you hear that? Did you just, like, whoa, like I just did? Um, this bag material, I don't know what it is. Uh, I feel like the, uh, I feel like the way I do these tutorials, I feel like I'm kind of, like, I'm advertising for Ipsy, but honestly, it's just something that I like to do, um, just to kind of get more out of the subscription box. I am in no way affiliated with Ipsy. I wish I could work for Ipsy, that'd be pretty cool, but they're based in LA and I'm in Ohio, so I'm pretty sure they don't want me there. Um, but let me just zoom in on this look. You'll get to zoom in on it at the end of the video, but I just love my eyes so much. I'm so glam today, guys. Don't mind that messy eyeliner, but like, so this is a really cool summer look. Um, I've got this pop of blue under my eyes, and I absolutely love it. It looks so good. I didn't expect it to look this good, and I didn't expect this lip stain to look that good either, but they both look really good. So, a uh, quick review on the products that I got in the bag. Um, I'm just, it's kind of going to be a first impressions because I literally have not had time to try these out. The J-Cat Liptitude 24-7 Hydrating Lip Stain. What is the color on this? This is stressing me out that there's no color. Bead? 15 bead? Is that it? I don't, that's what it says. Might be bead. Maybe this color is bead. I don't know. I really love this. Um, the applicator makes it super easy to get, like, a precise cut line, and I just really love it. Um, we'll see how it wears, we'll see how it lasts, but I, I loved putting this on. And then this, you'll see this Tristique, uh eye pencil, you'll see in the video, like, I died. I was like, whoa, it is so freaking smooth to put on. I was like, yes, Gaga, yes! And then the uh, Ofer Cosmetics eyeliner, I was right. Um, it did not go in my waterline like I wanted it to, uh, so I had to kind of, like, I tried putting my waterline, but it wasn't really working out, so I had to, like, just pop it under my eyes, but I think it looks even more glam and even more summery that way, so, I mean, I'm kind of, it's not, it's a very rough eyeliner, but I really love the color, so, uh, it's a, it's a bittersweet. Smashbox Photo Finish Primer. We'll see how my foundation lasts, but honestly, it kind of felt like the other primers I use. I'll have to use it a bit more to see, like, if I really like the primer or not, but so far, it feels like a normal primer. It doesn't really add anything super special, so I'm waiting for, like, it to be, you know, special. And then the BioRepublic masks, which were not shown in this video, I have not used yet, but I'm still super excited about it, so yeah. Uh, let's get into the video. Um, make sure to give this video a like if you liked it. Comment below what you want to see next. Subscribe if you haven't already. And, uh, thank you guys so much for watching this video. And I'll see you later. Hey guys. So I'm just starting off with my Smashbox Photo Finish Primer to prime my face for the foundation. And I'm kind of like singing in this video, so if you see me like moving my lips, that's that was me just singing while I was putting on makeup, like a, like a weirdo. And then I'm going in with my Maybelline Superstay makeup, and I'm just going to apply that all over my face with a brush.
I'm like getting really into the singing. After that, I'm just going to use my CoverGirl Deep Puffer Concealer and I'm going to conceal the dark circles under my eyes. This is also going to help to brighten my under eye area. And I'm just going to blend some of it out with the cooling tip and then I'm going to blend it out with the rest of the brush. Sorry, my phone just went off. And then after that I'm going to go in with this e.l.f. concealer and conceal any blemishes that I may have. And then just blend that out with the same brush. I like using the same brush for foundation and concealer just because I feel like it gives more of a natural finish to the entire look. Then I'm just going to set my under eyes with this Ben Nye powder and this e.l.f. brush that I found. Um, Desi Perkins was talking about how much she loved this brush, and this is, I tried it, it's literally my favorite. This is the e.l.f. blush brush. It's like $3 at Target, and it is literally my favorite for setting my under eyes. So, if you want a good setting brush, this is the one. After that, I'm just going to set the rest of my face with my L'Oreal Trim Match Powder. Moving on to the brows, I'm just going to brush through them with a spoolie and then use my e.l.f. eyebrow kit and I'm going to use the like gel pomade side and fill in my brows with that. And then um, my candle like finished, like the wick stopped burning and then it released this like noxious gas. So I kind of died a little. Um, then I'm just going to go in with the powder and set the eyebrows with that. And after that, I'm just going to blend them out with the spoolie. Before the eyeshadow base, I'm going in with this Trace Steak uh, Shadow Crayon in the color Pink Pearl. And I'm just going to apply this all over my lid as a base. Then I'm going in with this champagne colored eyeshadow and applying this all over my lid. After that I'm going in with this matte brown color and I'm going to start putting it on my outer, the outer part of my lid and blending it inward. After that I'm just going to blend this out with a blending blush brush with no extra product. And then I'm just going to draw a simple wing um, with some liquid liner. And I, I kind of messed up, so just pretend that never happened. And after that, I'm just going to curl my lashes and apply some mascara. And I, I kind of smelled it because it was kind of smelling weird. So I was like, is it expired? Is it not? It smells weird. I don't Yeah. Okay, then I'm going in with this Ofra Cosmetics eyeliner in the color turquoise. 
and I tried putting it in my waterline but this pencil is like really harsh and it doesn't really stay it's not really creamy so it doesn't really stay in the waterline that well so I just started um, putting it on my lower lash line and just smudging that out and and then I'm going in with the color Fringe from the Naked, or not the Naked, the Urban Decay Electric Palette. And I'm just going to take a small brush and I'm going to set the eyeliner by just putting this color over it. And now we are all done with my eyes. They are like mermaid eyes, so yay. Then I'm just going in with this like shimmery bronzer and I'm just going to bronze up my entire face. And I kind of hit pan on the bronzer so I got like really really excited because I never hit pan on like anything. And then I'm just going in with this bronzy highlighter and I'm just going to apply this on my cheekbones as well as everywhere else on my face that I usually highlight. And then just for some extra definition, I went in with a more brighter, whiter highlight and put that on my cheekbones. Now I'm just going in with a peach blush and I'm applying that to the apples of my cheeks. And I'm going to moisturize my lips with a lip balm. And I'm gonna put on this J-Cat Lip Detude Hydrating Lip Stain. And I'm just gonna apply this all over my lips. And that is it for the finished makeup look. So this is like a really summery look and I hope you guys enjoy it and I will see you later. Bye!